Hi, this is Abhirav Gulecha, Mindfulness Coach and I welcome you. Uh, in this uh, video, I will be talking about uh, the habit of worrying, the energy of worrying and how we can over overcome this, this, this energy. Right? So basically, uh, I have listed down a few points which I could think. Uh, now, see, worry is basically a habit energy. Right? Habit energy, what it does, it, it gets stronger with time. The more we continue to worry, the more these patterns get firmly established in us. Now, these patterns, what they do is that worrying, uh, they, do, they, they drain us, uh, they drain uh, emotionally, mentally, and they prevent us from healing, right? Um, now, the underlying deep pattern about, about worrying is that we believe that uh, life is in the future, happiness is in the future. So, we, we always are very much concerned about what the future will bring to us. Whereas, we need to understand that life is in the now. There is no past or no, there is no future. If I am I'm living life in the now, in a good way, my future also will be good, right? So, we have to consciously basically train ourselves to be living in the now, right? Because when our mind is not trained, what happens is that our mind keeps keeps going here in the past and the in the future. It's like a horse uh, which doesn't have a rein. Right, so it goes from pa past between past and future, right, and it that big, big that creates stress, right. Also, another thing is that we always think that we are the doer, right? We are the doer, you know. Uh, but it is not like that. There is a we have to understand that there is a higher energy. Call it God, call it divine, God, call it the higher intelligence, which is running and doing things. When we in a limited way think that. We, we are the limited self that we are, we think that we are doing things, then that worry arises in us whether we will be able to do something or not, or what will happen in, for our, in a particular situation. Right? So what basically we have to do is that our basic task is to overcome the energy of worry is to just bring our body and mind in the now, in the present moment. Bring the body and mind together. Right? So now how we can do it? Now we can, the solution to this is mindfulness, moment to moment awareness. What is mindfulness? Moment to moment awareness of what all is going on inside me and outside me right now, right? And I see it, I feel it with a, with a, with a loving curiosity, without judgment, right? I don't judge myself or others. I just, I'm witnessing what is happening right now in me, so, right? So I can like recognize that the worry energy is coming in me and it is going down. And it is coming, raising in me and it is going down. So, it's like a moment to moment practice of observing our mind, our thoughts, our feelings, our body, our breathing. Right? Which is called mindfulness of breathing, mindfulness of body, mindfulness of our thoughts, mindfulness of our feelings on a continuous basis. The more we do this practice, we will be able to break away from this self-created prison of worry. Right? self-created mental and emotional patterns like worry which keep us stuck in the future and not able to live the life which is only available to us in the now. See, the child, your child's smile or the sunshine, these all things are available only and only in the now. When you, when you worry, then you, know, you basically uh, you put a black cloth on all the good things in life because you are in the future, you are right now not here. So first what, you have to, what we have to do is that we have to recognize this habit energy. Now one more thing I will say is that, see not all things are on, of my own doing. Lot of these habit energies also get passed on from our ancestors. So what we need to first do is that we need to recognize that this habit energy is arising in me. It is called noticing, right? So I will not say I am worrying right now. I will say worry is arising in me. Right? So, I am trying to say that I am much bigger than this worry. Right? I am not labeling myself that I am always worrying or I am just like that. Right? I am just saying that at this moment, worry is arising in me. I am looking at it. Let it arise and let it fall. I will be able, I will be noticing the arise and that you and the fall of the emotion. So, we have to, so when basically I do that, uh, a very high quality refined energy which is called the energy of mindfulness that gets generated and that energy takes care of the energy of the worry so 
important thing to understand is that I will never be able to. It's 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 never a good idea to fight very directly, right? You cannot fight with a with a mental formation with the energy of your mind. So worry is a mental formation. You cannot fight the worry with the energy of your mind. You need a you need a much greater quality and much higher and much refined energy to take care of that worry. So what we basically do is that we recognize that this worry is arising in me, and you can like embrace it as a younger brother or a younger sister. right so when you come across a new you have a younger brother who is not who who had a fight and who has come home you first sit with him you embrace him and you don't fight with your younger brother that why you are why you had this thing why did you have a fight you embrace with him you understand his side of the story similar way we just recognize we look into this worry why why and where it is is it arising the more we embrace the worry energy without judgment the more we'll be able to find its roots that okay the roots are much much beyond me there are, you know maybe some ancestral patterns that are flowing in me and i am now healing it right so what you can or you can also bring attention to your breathing and you can breathe with that worry right so while this worry is there you recognize it at the same time you bring your attention in the belly and you keep your breathing the in and out just be aware of the breathing the in and out movement of your belly and that energy of mindfulness that gets generated by that approach then takes care of that worry right so that is the more deeper the worry pattern is entrenched in you the more uh, you know a consistent practice you need of a moment to moment awareness moment to moment mindfulness right like this you can hear a bell this is the mindfulness bell i've also made a separate video on this that also you can use to bring yourself back into your awareness uh every like 10 15 minutes that you can do now the important thing is the more you recognize the energy of worry and recognize yourself you disidentify from that energy of the worry it will reduce its hold on you right so it requires some time some consistent practice but over time you will be able to uh dissolve this energy of the worry otherwise if you still remain in that energy of the worry you keep remaining in that cycle uh of energy, the energy of worry it will become more and more strong right so the way to come out of this is mindfulness right becoming aware that this 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 energy is arising in me completely and lovingly accepting right now this is happening to me without any judgment and then you can investigate you can bring your attention to the sensations of a body what this worry is trying to tell you right and you can look and go into that roots you'll be able to look deeply into the roots of this emotion why this emotion is coming up right right some actions that i will suggest to you some actionable points one is start doing sitting meditation right sitting meditation every morning and evening make it a habit to start doing sitting meditation sit for some time in the morning and evening the more you do this the more your mindfulness level will be raised the more you will stop worrying over you know a uh, smaller things in life right uh, some second thing what i will suggest is some form of walking or brisk walk or some aerobic exercise or some physical exercise you can do what this will do is that it will release the stress sometimes the stress from our body actually also causes us to worry so that you can do third is you can practice some form of conscious relaxation you can do body scan meditation or in yoga we have the yoga nidra so that can help another thing will be mindfulness of consumption especially mindful of mindfulness of eating please try avoid eating um, you know uh, rajasik food uh, rajasik food is the oily and the spicy food this actually brings a lot of thoughts in our mind uh, stick to mostly pure vegetables uh, mostly fresh vegetables and fruits and you know all those things and reduce your consumption of oily spicy non vegetarian food right or stale food right then you can use mindfulness bell you can refer to my video uh, another video that i have made then you can practice journaling as to how this worry is manifesting how that worry disturbs your disturbs your peace of mind what are the steps that you today took to you know curb this energy of worry to heal yourself from this energy of worry what is this energy of worry trying to tell you right so you can journal every maybe evening you can journal it will bring you more awareness of your this habit or this pattern right and if you are interested to learn three 
secrets to heal difficult mental emotional patterns in your life do join uh, my free uh, master class uh, uh, on this topic every tuesday and and friday 7 pm ist you can uh, you can see the link in the description and you can join um, so this is it uh, thank you so much i hope this video was useful do share your feedback your thoughts on 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 how you you have uh, overcome your worry habit or what you think something any other suggestion which can help other people you know in this uh, in this problem uh, so do share your feedback thank you so much for watching this video thank you so much